What's going on? It's Leo again from B Boy Network channel. We are doing small talk with Frankie from the Supreme Beings. Frankie, yes, thank you again for coming through. For having me. Um, tell the viewers out there who you are and you know a little about yourself, real quick. Cool, cool. Peace, everyone. This is Frankie from Supreme Beings Crew. I'm also coming over here representing 1000% Team USA and Star Child of Rock. Nice, nice. Uh, uh, you're part of, yeah, Supreme Beings, Star Child of the Rock, and Thousand Percent. What is your role specifically in each, if you have any, or what you find is your identity within each role or crew? Cool, cool. So, um, the most defined role that I have as far as my crews are concerned is uh, the Team One Thousand Percent. I'm the captain of that team, and um, basically what that means is just um, I do what I can in order to plan out the steps that we're going to take as a team in order to create our buzz to help it keep on moving because the main purpose of it is basically to gather up a bunch of people who have the skills in order to compete on an international level but doesn't necessarily like have the exposure yet and so we're working hard on making that happen and also if there's a, a battle that we're going to do whether it's in our, our media area overseas um, is to like set up the team for the, the members who are actually going to like enter that battle a bunch of as, as well as working on other projects for that as well. Um, fill me in also on uh, Star Child. What's, what's that about? Because I know it's a new concept for you as well. Can you kind of break it down real quick for yeah. me? Yeah, so Star Child, I became a part of that. Um, when I run, when I, right after I won Rocksteady, Track 2 put me down, and he's the leader of that. Okay. And um, basically what it is is just um, keeping a certain concept, a certain knowledge of b-boying alive as um, it's a first generation b-boy crew. Literally, it's one of the first b-boy crews um, to be formed. And um, it has to do with keeping the knowledge that Track 2 holds as him being a first generation b-boy and just passing it on to like the younger b-boys as well in order to keep that alive. Awesome, awesome. How about uh, something that I know you're gonna be a part of next week, right? The UK b-boy champs. Yeah, next uh, week, yeah. I know you won a qualifier at Rocksteady Crew Anniversary. Can you fill me in more on what what it took to get to where you are now and next week's event? Yeah, so um, Rocksteady Anniversary is also the qualifier in the United States for the B-Boy who won that in order to go rep the U.S. over at this huge international competition, UK B-Boy Champs, which I'm sure most people that are watching have probably heard about it. It's a legendary event. And it's a really big honor for me to represent my country over there. And um, in order what it took for me to get over there, it's just that um, nothing nothing different from my usual routine because I, like, I practice with the same amount of intensity all year round, whether I'm going to enter a local jam or an international jam. It's just really um, getting my head right for that specific day that I'm going to battle. And so um, and that day of Rocksteady, I've been injured for like five and a half months. And just literally that day that I was going to battle is when I was able to do certain things that I haven't done before. And so... Do you mean like power moves? Yeah, sense, power moves so? because um, okay. I have a, a groin injury. And so it stopped me from training on my power. And that day I was able to like unleash some of it again. And so it's pretty magical yeah. the way it all happened. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's awesome. What about uh, uh, your final battle? Who was that that you battled? And how do you, felt, how do you feel about that? Was uh, it a good battle? Yeah, the final battle was against uh, one of my homies from Puerto Rico, Spaghetti, representing Stylistic Tribe, who's on the come up, repping for his country as well. Not a lot of b-boys mm -hmm. from Puerto Rico are, are being are coming up like that, and so he's doing it for um, for that country as well. But um, the final battle was dope. Um, I gave him my all, like I did all the battles, and it turned out well for me. Nice. Well, congratulations and good luck. I'm looking forward to seeing how that turns out for you. I know you'll do well uh, representing the U.S. on that. What about um? things that you're doing outside of b-boying anything extracurricular activities or anything like that <laughs> <laughs> yeah well um the main things that i do outside of b-boying is uh like i go to school and also um, i dj as well when i'm able to have like my spare time but mostly it's just like a, like a balance between school and dancing nice how do you find that how do you find uh, managing the two because i know it's a lot of work that you got to put into both to do well in yeah it's definitely a lot of work and uh the story of my life that you can say because um, I'm going through a lot in order to figure out how it is that I can to balance school and dancing and uh, because of that what I want to do as far as uh, like my contribution to like b-boying in general is just uh, 
I guess, uh, leave behind uh, my legacy is that, is that you're able to, like, compete on an international level while at the same time being a professional and something else as well because, um, like, unfortunately, because of the state of b-boying, the way it's in, even you can be the best person in the world, but it still be really hard to provide for, like, like a family and um, just to, like, survive on your own. So you're left until we get to that point where we're, like, BMX bikers and and X Games as well, like, you have to, you have to have a profession also. And so I know there's a big debate also with other b-boys who are in school as well, if whether or not you're able to be skilled at b-boying and then be, be a professional as well. And I just wanna set the example for people who think that it's not possible, that you can compete on an international level and then still like, go to graduate school. Frankie brings up a good point out there for you, the viewers. If uh, anything, it's very important to plan about your future. Uh, B-boying is good. It does well for you. Uh, but you got to really think about the most important things, which will help you go on with the rest of uh, you know, the world. So uh, any shout-outs before I let you get out of here? Yeah. Um, big shout-out to, to my family, Supreme Beings. Shout-out to 1000% USA. Shout-out Star Child of Rock. Shout out Teen Titans, shout out X Fiends, shout out New York City B-Boying in general, and anybody pursuing their passions, whether it's B-Boying, music, art, school, whatever, just go ahead and do it.